Hello, my name is Emma Tompkins. I'm a professor of geography, environment and development. I've been working on sustainability issues now for about 30 years, working on issues of trade-offs in relation to environment and development, looking at weather hazards and risks, and also looking at climate change adaptation. I'm just going to spend the next few minutes telling you a little bit about some of the research questions that really interest me and what I teach here at the University of Southampton. Um, so the first question that I'm interested in is how do we build current and future climate resilience? Are we going to end up living on a spaceship just off the, um, the Earth's, um, uh, just outside the Earth's um, atmosphere because the Earth becomes too unlivable? Uh, what do we have to do to enable ourselves to live well and happily in the future? I'm also interested to know why, given that we understand how disasters and hazards occur, why do some groups and people not prepare for extreme weather events? I'm also interested in um, how effective are the adaptations that people can undertake to prepare for future climate change and weather and climate hazards? What are the impacts of these adaptations on other people who might live downstream of us, on future generations, or perhaps people who just live further away, or even on other aspects of life, for example, on ecosystems. So I work in a variety of different contexts. For example, I work on um, small islands, looking at how hurricanes, tropical cyclones, have affected people, people's perceptions of risk, and how people engage with that risk. I've worked on coastal flood and erosion risks in Europe, for example, trying to understand how we can improve our coastal resilience in the UK in the face of changing flood risk. I'm more recently involved in understanding the sargassum seaweed invasions that have started to affect the tropical Atlantic all the way from West Africa through the Caribbean and into Central America where um, this uh, rotting seaweed is landing on beaches and it's affecting uh, the entire tropical Atlantic basin, um, affecting fishers' ability to, um, to fish, affecting people's health as the rotting seaweed is giving off um, toxic gases. It's affecting tourism in many of these islands which depend heavily on tourism. So really trying to understand what, it, what are the impacts and adaptations of these sargassum seaweed invasions in the tropical Atlantic. So what, who cares about all this stuff? Apart from me, um, well, I've done a variety of um, uh, pieces of work with different groups. I've worked with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. I was involved in the last assessment report, uh, writing about how climate change impacts and adaptations are occurring on small islands. I was seconded to the UK Department for International Development for a couple of years uh, to share my experience of climate change adaptation with their research team to design future research for people affected in, de in the developing world. I was involved in the UK climate, sorry, the UK's first climate change risk assessment, um, and I was also involved in the Government for Science Foresight report on reducing the risks of future disasters. These are just some of the initiatives that I've been involved in. Um, but perhaps for you, more importantly, what do I teach? I teach a module here called Geog um, it's Geog 3057, is the horrible acronym, but it's all about my favourite subjects. It's about adapting to climate and weather hazards. And I cover all of these topics of what are adaptations, what are the impacts on other people, how do we measure effectiveness, um, why do some people not engage with risks, many other aspects in this module. Um, I hope that you are considering Southampton and I very much hope that you will come along and join me in my lectures. I look forward to meeting some of you in the future. Okay, all the best. Forgive me, I now have to turn this thing off.